so in the hana so the topic is like a resident hdb lcm so what is this normal hdb lcm so it's like with the installation part we will get to get the hdb lcm and so there is a resident hdb lcm tools so what about this all those things here resident hdb lcm so normal hdb lcm tools here so hdb lcm tools so normally ana installations ana upgrades uh, ana add ons updates or anything we can do which using the hdb lcm tools here hdb lcm tools you can use this hdb lcm sap introduced this tools ana sps 10 onwards ana 1.0 10 onwards so they have introduced the this hdb lcm tools they have introduced it here so here during the installation we will use the this normal hdb lcm then once the installation is completed then you will get the resident hdb lcm that is called the resident hdb lcm resident after the installation you are getting the resident hdb lcm so this resident hdb lcm so what is the use case is like a suppose look if you see here this is available in the so normal this is available in the under the slash hana shared and hdb lcm slash hana shared and hdb lcm this is available here cd slash hana shared then so sdh every database the resident hdb lcm is available cd hdb lcm so why it is very important why it is important means to perform the post activities post installation activities or system rename uh suppose updating the components unregister configuring the sld remaining any post installation activities configuring the local network shared networks all those things we have to use the resident hdb lcm resident hdb lcm so this resident hdb lcm we need to start with the root user either hdb lcm or resident hdb lcm we need to start with the root user here so root user here so just dot slash hdb lcm so here you can see the resident hdb lcm if you want to configure the network check the installation add the host another host remove the host rename uninstallation unregister update updating the hana system updating the components add on components all those things we can use this one the most probably either configuration configure in the sld suppose some sometimes you may have to integrate your system into the sld so that time we need to use the configure the sld here right if you want to check the installation is successfully completed or not right if you want to configure the local internal network so if you want to rename the system we want to uninstall the system so if you want to unregister the system so anything any uh, any one of the these activities you may have to do it then you can use the resident hdb lcm right suppose you want to uninstall something here then option 11 uninstallation here so what are the what are the database you are going to uninstall it sdh sdh then you need to select the hdh1 then all will be uninstalled no then control c that will be cancelled here right so you need to carefully plan the this type of uninstallations or rename unregister suppose you want to configure the local area network here network so maybe sometimes you may have to check this one here the fourth one so then select the fourth please enter the system password so is it local port internal port global global network here suppose like local network then third why then you can see it is configuring the network service communication network communication it is done so some kind of post installation things we need to use the post installation post post related things we have to use the post related things we have to use the so this one which one so post related things we can use the so 
post related things we can use the so resident hdb lcm so normal hdb lcm is like a installation resident hdb lcm like like a, so some kind of uninstallation whatever the options are there here so this all the description as per the description it will do the all the activities here the only thing is we need to start the hdb lcm with the root user root user only we need to start it so that is the the difference between the hdb lcm resident hdb lcm here okay so 